we're going to pop the hood off here. Here is where the oil filter is. The dipstick located at the top of the motor is where they pour the oil in, but we need to remove the oil. And that's done through this little opening down here, and we will attach a hose to that so it makes for a real clean application in regards to draining the oil. Here's an oil wrench that you can get that fits up for the filter. It basically goes on the end of a ratchet. The other thing to catch the oil is a couple of clear tubes you can get at any hardware store. One will go on the drain uh, plug where you'll drain the oil. The other will go on the uh, catch pan of the oil filter so no oil ends up in the bottom of the motor. I want to remove the oil cap that way all the oil will drain from the crankcase. First thing you want to do is loosen the drain plug. You need a 5 8 deep well socket. You just want to crack it loose a little bit. Then you want to take your oil draining tube. We're going to slide that up onto the end of it and you can see that. Now I'm going to start to loosen that up. I'm going to hold my thumb on the end of it, but you can see the oil starting to come, okay? It doesn't take much, just a little bit. Now you can see the oil come down all the way down there like that. We're gonna place that over the drain pan. Once you've done that, and the oil is all drained out of the crankcase, the next step of the process is removing the oil filter. Now I have a oil filter wrench cap that was made specifically for this filter, so that's kind of nice. And you operate that with a ratchet, okay? So you can simply loosen that up. We're gonna to start to loosen that filter up, but before we get it too loose, we wanna remove the little plug here and put our tube on there to drain any remaining oil that may be up here in the filter itself. You can see down here, there's a little rubber plug. We're gonna take that off, okay? See that little plug right there? Set that so you don't lose it. Then you wanna take your hose and place that around that little vent. That's the catch pan. You can see right here, underneath the oil filter next to the oil dipstick. That's designed to catch any oil that may come out of the filter. So now we'll remove that. Simply start turning that back. You can see the little bit of oil in there and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. You can see it go down the tube and you want a tube that's, you know, three foot, maybe four foot long, but you can catch that remaining oil. There you go. Oil filters removed, catch pan work, oil's in the tube, and now's a good time to do a little inspection look and see, and this oil's it's still really good. There, we got all the oil out there. Take that down, wipe that pan out, and we're gonna replace the plug, put that back in there. Now we'll put the new filter on it. There's a couple things you want to do. Obviously, check, make sure that's the right size and everything. But on this rubber seal, I want to put fresh oil on that. So I'm going to crack open a, uh, some oil here. And I'm just going to put it on my finger. And I'm going to rub that around that O-ring. By putting fresh oil on there, I can assure myself I'll get a nice, tight fit. So we're going to put that on. I'm just going to start with my fingers, slowly tighten it up nice and snug and then I'm going to put the wrench back on it okay and this is a pretty handy wrench I'm going to put it on it and then tighten it three quarters to one full turn and then I know that oil filter is properly seated so all right now that the oil filter is in place insecure we need to tighten up the drain plug. So what we wanna do is any remaining oil that came out of the crankcase, and you can see that what's in the tube, we're just gonna drain that out, okay? Then we're gonna take the tube off the oil plug, set that down here. Okay, now that we've got the drain plug nice and secure, we can start adding oil to the crankcase on this outboard. Okay, now it's all about filling up the crankcase and this motor takes 6.3 quarts of oil, so we're gonna get her nice and full. Now we've added all the oil to the crankcase, so we're gonna check the oil dipstick to make sure there's an appropriate mount on there. And you can see that. We've got the new oil in, 
Shows up right there on the dipstick, so we're good to go. Okay, get that hood snap back on. These things will run a long, long time, providing you with lots of recreational fun out on the water if you just take care of them 